So the core instructions of Zen noting are a little bit complicated because there's a lot going on here. Um, in a way, it's a complex practice. Uh, I want to start here just with this overview of the instructions, and there's several components here that I'm going to highlight. The first is the frame of the practice, and then I'll get into the, to the options for how to fill in some of these blanks. I'll talk about the compression of like how much, how many words or how long are we using to fill those, those blanks in, the order of the practice, the size of the groups, and the time spent in practice. So these are just a kind of general overview of what's possible if you're facilitating Zen noting. Keeping in mind there's a lot of possibilities here, there's a lot of potential uh, in terms of things to explore. And so the basic frame of this practice, and I, I think of this very much like sentence completion uh, things, if you've ever done that, um, particularly in school, you know, Jack and Jill went up the blank, you know, fill in the blank. Okay, hill, <laughs> let's say hill. Yeah, here as in noting, there's also a kind of basic frame that we're filling in. And to me, the frame of Zen noting is as blank, blank. And here, the first blank that we're filling in after as is as, it's the subject. It's what it is that we're identifying with. Today, we're going to explore Zen noting as awareness, as awareness. And then blank, the second blank, as blank, blank. Blank is what are you noticing as that? What is it that you're aware of? What is it that you're experiencing? So as blank, blank. Uh, another way of talking about these two blanks is the first blank is the subject, and the second blank is the object or objects. So in the first blank, we're, we're filling it in with what we're identifying as, our su sense of self, the subject, as whatever it is. And then the second blank, the objects. What is it that we're noticing as that? Now here, with respect to the options, we have a lot of options for how we can fill in this first blank as facilitators. So one option is just to pick one thing. We're gonna do that later with awareness. Just pick something, awareness, as awareness, and then whatever it is you notice. As awareness, there's letting go and letting be. Um, as love, there is whatever you notice. And you don't have to say there is, actually, this is in this new form. It's open, you can say there is, you can say I am, you can say whatever. Uh, you like to describe what you're experiencing as blank, blank. And there are other options here. We could also, um, we could, as facilitators, we could say, hey, I want to I explore the four immeasurables today. Um, and I want to give people the option and the practice to pick from one of these each time it's their turn. You know, one time maybe I want to be as loving a kindness, whatever it is you notice. Maybe the next time is as equanimity and so forth. And this would be like a multiple choice, choice option. Um, so you could imagine having a, a number of choices and then people picking from those choices as they like when it's their turn. Um, you could also um, loop <clears throat> through some options. Um, you could loop through the four measurables. You know, every time it's someone, someone's turn, the next person goes as loving kindness. The next person goes as compassion, as empathetic joy, as equanimity, and just keep looping through that. Um, that's another option. Um, in terms of filling in the blank. Um, yet another option is freestyle. You know, you, you pick. When it's your turn, you pick what it is that you're identifying with. Um, so those are, those are some options there in terms of how you can fill in the first blank. The second blank is a little clearer to me in Zen noting. It's just freestyle. It's like whatever you notice, whatever is there as that. We're not going to constrain or limit that um, because it's important in my mind to keep it open to see what we see to notice what we do notice. So very open in terms of what we can identify with and how, um, very open in terms of what we notice, but, but needs to stay open in this practice. Going back to the first blank, um, we're filling this in with just a couple words. I think it's, it's much simpler in this practice to get to stay simple in terms of what it is we're identifying with. So here the, the idea is to use a word or two uh, to describe the subject, that is, who, who and what you're uh, noticing as. Uh, the second blank is, to me, it's a little more open-ended. I think with Zen noting, it actually really can be supported by having more space. 
one to two breaths even as awareness I notice a dropping away of thought and a stillness in the mind. So we have a little bit more space there. We have a breath or two to describe what it is we're experiencing. And here as a facilitator, you could, you could, set, you could set that yourself. You could say, okay, we've got one breath or you've got one to two breaths or you, know, you, can, you can figure out how, how much is right. In terms of the order of this practice, it's, uh, it's sequential. It's a sequential order. We take turns in this practice because there's a lot to be said. Um, we don't want to be talking over each other with our one to two breaths. Um, and so to me, the, this works best in a sequential order, taking turns. Um, I have a recommendation of doing this with three to four people, but that's mostly uh, a recommendation for Zoom, for, teach, for doing this online, for facilitating online, because... It's, for me, it's hard to keep track after four or so people. Um, but of course, this is just a recommendation. It's up to you all to figure out how to do this in person. If you're physically in the same room with folks, you can do a lot more than three or four people and still this practice works fine. So long as everyone can, can hear each other, it um, should be just fine. Um, but there you go. That's the recommendation. And um, here time, I just put in 15 minutes. This, this is really open-ended as well. Uh, minimally, I like to do a session at least five minutes. I find 10 or 15 minutes even better because it gives people time to sink into the technique. But this is wide open. This is just a, another recommendation. So these are the kind of core instructions um, of Zen noting. This is kind of what, what makes it what it is. And I just wanted to share that before we do a bit more practice together with it.